Life often gives us lemons, but these inventions will not help you make lemonade. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hilarious inventions in movies and TV. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at devices from film and television that were made to serve dubious or oddly specific purposes. We're not interested in the type of inventions you'll find on a late night infomercial. These are much less conventional. This is Alpha Kong Duck. Come in, Duck. Hi, Alpha. Hey, your voice sounds funny. I know, I know. Number 10. The Breakfast Machine Pee Wee's Big Adventure. <laughs> As our grandmothers have told us a million times, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And who can say no to a big pile of bacon and eggs, waffles, bacon, pancakes, bacon, and sausages? Oh, and bacon, too. The only thing that could make breakfast better is if it's automatically made for you by a room-spanning, overly complicated Rube Goldberg-type machine. Was that Abe Lincoln flipping pancakes and feeding the dog out of his hat? Hey, in the world of Pee Wee Herman, why not? We like breakfast in bed as much as the next person, but this show is worth getting up for. I pity the poor fool! Don't eat my cereal! <laughs> Number 9. Point of View Gun – The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy The Point of View Gun conveniently does precisely what its name suggests. Guns are dangerous and require a lot of training to use effectively. But perhaps no gun is as dangerous as the point-of-view gun. This wacky weapon was designed by a giant computer at the request of intergalactic housewives in order to win arguments with their husbands. It did this by showing them their wives' point of view. You're right, I shouldn't be so upset because life goes on, you know? The idea behind showing people someone else's POV, and thus magnifying their empathy, seems like a great idea on paper. But in application, it should be applied with care and caution. Why so edgy? You want to know why I'm edgy? <laughs> Number 8. Dog Translator Collar. Up. Speak! Hi there. Look. Did that dog just say hi there? Ever looked into your puppy's big eyes and wondered what they were thinking? Turns out they're mostly thinking about squirrels. Squirrel! My master is good and smart. Also, it seems some dogs are surprisingly susceptible to fascist thinking. The great thing about this collar is how believable the dog's words turn out to be. Doug, for example, seems to love everyone he meets immediately. My name is Doug. I have just met you, and I love you. The device was created by explorer Charles F. Muntz so that he could communicate with his only companions. He also apparently invented some fighter airplanes for them to pilot, too. <laughs> What's next? Starbucks for dogs? Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please be my prisoner! Number 7. Fing Longer. Futurama. I've invented a device which allows you to operate equipment from great distances. I call it the Fing Longer. Everyone has dreams. Dreams are what keep us going in this strange and baffling world. But some dreams are left unfulfilled, and that's just plain sad. Take the Fing Longer, for example, Dr. Farnsworth's dream invention that he never got around to finishing. So that's what things would be like if I'd invented the Fing Longer. Oh, a man can dream, though. The hilarious thing about this invention is just how simple it is compared to some of his other devices. It's essentially just a longer finger meant for poking things and pushing buttons from a distance. We wouldn't call that a particularly amazing invention, but at least it isn't as gross as the smelloscope or as depressing as the what if machine. What if I was 500 feet tall? Let's watch, shall we? <laughs> Number 6. Flubber, Flubber. <laughs> it's flying rubber. <laughs> It's Flubber! In an attempt to create a revolutionary new source of energy, Professor Brainerd instead invented a strange new form of dancing rubber. Oh, well, that's pretty cool too. And it's not like we're in desperate need of alternative energy sources or anything, right? This green flying rubber has the ability to make things extra bouncy, so it has all kinds of real-world applications like improving the vertical jumps of your college basketball team. <laughs> But be careful not to eat this stuff, because it could cause some seriously painful, albeit funny, farts. Oh, <laughs> 
Number five, electric hammer. The Simpsons. My all-purpose electric hammer. We're not sure if this invention is ridiculous or actually quite smart. But then again, that seems to be the conundrum with most of Homer's inventions. Maybe the funny part of this invention is that it could work well if it weren't so terribly designed. Something that automates the tedious task of hammering nails would be great. The way Homer's invention malfunctions, however, is just plain dangerous. Probably needs to be more powerful. Of course, Homer was ridiculed for his invention. But when people thought Thomas Edison invented it, everyone praised it. Freaking Thomas Edison, what did he ever do? I will buy 10 of those right now. Number four, hot tub time machine, hot tub time machine. It must be some kind of hot tub time machine. DeLoreans, fancy chairs, phone booths. Who needs those when you can travel through time in a relaxing hot tub? The great thing about a hot tub is that it doesn't need a flux capacitor or British doctor to bend the temporal fabric of the universe. The only thing this invention needs is a pair of Speedos. Leg warmers, Jerry crew, where's the beef? Excuse me, miss. What color is Michael Jackson? Black. <laughs> and just like seemingly every other time machine, this one sends you to the most perfectly comedic moment possible. Is that an inherent part of time travel? Or do popular time travelers just tend to have a good sense of humor and terrible luck? One little thing is changed. The whole system can go haywire. Number three, Meeseeks box, Rick and Morty. This is a Meeseeks box. Let me show you how it works. Kind of like a twisted version of a genie's bottle, the Meeseeks box exists for those moments when you just need a little help. Press the button and a Mr. Meeseeks appears out of thin air to help you with whatever you need. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me! You make a request. Mr. Meeseeks, open Jerry's stupid mayonnaise jar. Yes, sir! -ee. The Meeseeks fulfills the request. All done! Wow! And then it stops existing. But what happens when Mr. Meeseeks needs help, too? Well, he just summons another Mr. Meeseeks, of course. Hi, Mr. Meeseeks! I'm Mr. Meeseeks! Look at me! Hi! Can you help me get two strokes off of Jerry's golf swing? Can do! As you might imagine, this can get out of hand very quickly. There's no issue using the Meeseeks box, as long as you don't ask it to do the impossible. Ask too much of Mr. Meeseeks, and you might see your whole house become overrun with these helpful but mentally fragile blue creatures. I can't take it anymore! I just wanna die! We all wanna die! We're Meeseeks! Number two, internet kissing, the Big Bang Theory. I don't know about this, Howard. If only there were some way we could physically express our feelings for other people when they aren't nearby. Something deeper than an emoji or a like. That's where this machine that simulates kissing comes in. It helps couples in long-distance relationships satisfy their physical urges. When you move your lips and tongue on yours, it transmits exactly what you're doing to hers. See? Internet kissing. The great thing about the kissing machine is how ridiculous people look while using it, as seen in this episode of The Big Bang Theory. I'm impressed. This is very lifelike. Well, you just bit my tongue. Oh, I, I nibbled. I was being playful. We imagine it would also be helpful if you knew for sure who was on the other end using it. You wouldn't want to be accidentally making out with your grandma. Better? Oh, yeah. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Okay, look, you know how you're always talking about how you can simulate all that stuff on your computer? You know? What's the difference? Why can't we simulate a girl? Hey, what do you got in here, rocks? Are you kidding? When I was your age, I would lug 50 pounds of ice up five, six flights of stairs. Number one, flame-throwing electric guitar. Mad Max Fury Road. Nothing says awesome for the sake of awesome like a guitar that shoots flames. Even in a movie with robotic arms, skull-like breathing machines, and war rigs, this invention stood out the most. We can't think of a better way to get your war boys riled up than strumming a nice tune on your flamethrower guitar. But why does it shoot flames? We don't know, and quite frankly, we do not care. We just like it. According to director George Miller, the guitar player is a blind guy named the Coma Doof Warrior, which really just completes his whole image, doesn't it? And because he was blind, where can a blind man survive with a competitive advantage over the sighted? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.